all our W down here in the Mountain Storm Workshop. Uh, I'm in the middle of some uh, production work here, making some tools, but I wanted to take a few moments uh, to do a destruction test on the piece of spring steel and mild steel I welded together the other day. I want to give you guys a good look at this in the light. Okay, no cold cracking. It's, nothing's happened. Unexpected has happened to the weld, so I'm real happy with that. So. The whole purpose of it was to preheat it so that that wouldn't happen and then post heat it, you know, give it the best possible chance of normalizing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, force against that and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do something without destroying my bench or destroying my. Uh, sturdy bench. This is just plywood 2x4s and I got a vise bolted to it. So it's, <laughs> you know, I don't really want to destroy my whole bench, but the whole idea do anything to the wells. I don't know. I think these wells are really strong. I am deforming the tube. That's about it. The other thing I was thinking is that if I were to squash the tube totally flat, that might be a way to you know, stretch the welds out without hurting this piece of spring steel. Welds looking really ductile, you know what I mean? It's flexible. It's not not deforming it really. You have to give me a proper anvil one of these days. So Set the light up on it. I'm not seeing any cracking whatsoever in the welds. You can see I've just about flattened the tube. Okay, I got it flat enough now that I can hammer right on the weld. like a four pound slip I think. Yeah the welds are not cracking or anything. I mean you're never going to subject this thing to that kind of force I don't think you know as a pole arm. Um, there's not a whole lot of things I can do to, to this because I don't have like a hydraulic press or anything like that that I can really use for that. I got one of those light work. It's not going to handle this kind of stress and strain. But what I thought is, is now that we got it flat, we can get it clamped in there. And uh, I don't know if this is going to work. But I don't want to bend the spring steel. So I can, you know, lift my whole bench back and forth as you can see. I mean, there's, there's no weakness to that well. That I can see. I'm to hit it this way. I don't know if this is going to work out or not. Like I said, this whole setup is a little bit too light duty for this. It's not like every single day. You know, I'm out here beating metal on this thing. <laughs> My poor lamb is, is not happy. Any way that this pole arm is ever going to 
suffer these kind of forces. My poor little vice, my land, vice, everything on the table is getting beat to shit. <coughs> my freaking scroll saw has jumped all over the place, all my glues have tipped over. It's awesome. So, let's take a good look at it again. Yeah. Now, I was told, you know, that the undercut might be where it was broke. JMC there said something about that. No, not in the least. There's no weakness at the undercut. The undercut is maybe a 32nd of an inch out of a quarter inch piece of steel. Um, yeah, I can't get these welds to show any sign of parting or cracking or... I'm not seeing anything like that. I'm looking real close. So, really don't know what to tell you except that I think this is a pretty sturdy freaking weld. I'm not worried about it uh, falling apart on, uh, on digs. I'm hammering right on the weld. And if anything, the weld is actually stronger than the pipe. The weld is not really deforming very much. I'm looking inside, looking on the outside. I'm real happy with the weld. I think the weld's awesome. So let's just get a super close up for you guys if we can. Okay. I don't see any sign of that weld coming loose. You can see the lippage of the bead. But it's not lifting off the metal. It's not separate from the metal. It's part of the metal. And you don't see it so much when the when the tube is up like this. But at, now that the tube's flat and you can really see it, you can see the kind of ripply edge of my weld. Those marks down there are from the vise. That's not undercut. Those little lines along there. Those two little eyeball looking like little slanty eyeballs right there. That's the undercut. Same on this side, that's all undercut about a quarter of an inch below it, but right next to the weld, that's the vise. Um, you can see the hammer print marks all over it. So, without a doubt, super strong weld, no problem. <laughs> 